Welcome back friends. Um, in this video um, I'll be talking about ordinate dimensions as well as uh, I'll be covering a few additional AutoCAD commands and functionalities. In the previous video we talked about how uh, annotation works in AutoCAD. We talked about the uh, basic linear and angular dimensions and uh, um, how to add text and multi-line text and how to add leader and how to edit the styles and the scale of the dimensions um, in this video um, we're gonna move forward um, with ordinate dimensions so um, in some applications in industry for instance if uh, uh, if you prepare a drawing for a CNC router or majority of other CNC machines, uh, you might need to dimension it differently. So you might need to assume a corner of the object that uh, we call a datum, like this edge is datum, this edge is another datum. Um, so um, datum is actually an accurate surface. So uh, assuming this is your one datum, this is another datum, the intersection of those two is uh, your origin point, and the rest of the features of this part is, is dimensioned with respect to your origin point, um, your zero comma zero point. And uh, um, so in some applications, it's better to dimension your part this way. As you see, these um, vertical lines are actually showing the distance from let's say this the center of this feature um, to this datum along the x-axis right so that's three inches from the center point to this edge um, these dimensions though um, show the distance of features uh, along the y-axis so the distance from the center of this to this datum is actually one inch or distance from this edge to this edge is two inches and so forth okay um, in this video we'll be talking about how to add those ordinates as well as how to add um, you know diameter type of dimensions how to modify the text of the dimensions and how to add a hatch so let's go to AutoCAD I have a drawing um, available I can actually provide that uh, down in the description you can download it and practice on this so um, in a previous video again uh, you know we talked about uh, layers and how to create a layer for uh, adding your dimensions and annotations so I'm going to change my layer to dimension if you don't know how to do that you can go to layer properties and click on new and create your own layer make sure your line weight uh, set to default my layer uh, with name of zero has a uh, larger line weight as you see the um, you know these features objects they're all placed in layer zero okay so I already have a layer dimension with a color um, blue so I'm gonna make it active and if I go ahead uh, to home tab annotation and uh, if I grab ordinate okay and let's say if I pick this point uh, assuming my object snaps are on uh, if I select that point and place somewhere that actually shows a distance from this edge to your origin of the two-dimensional space so that's your zero comma zero point so uh, from that from this line to your y-axis is 3.08 that's not the way I want it I'm gonna select then erase so first off we're gonna type UCS at the bottom as you see um, didn't work so UCS press enter um, we're gonna select this point okay and then press enter so what you did, you actually moved your origin to this uh, corner. 
let's go ahead and click on ordinate and now select this and move your mouse uh, let's say in vertical direction okay um, I'm gonna draw an imaginary line I'll be using that to align all these dimensions okay so you see I'm referencing from that I'm not clicking I'm just getting close to it and moving so that's an imaginary intersection let's click there escape so let's go ahead grab ordinate and let's say pick that okay you can actually um, move it it doesn't have to be very accurate um, so grab ordinate again Uh, what you can do is uh, in the object snap you you should have a parent intersection you should have perpendicular and turn it on uh, came back um, come back here grab your ordinate click there and uh, right now you can click right there as you see okay um, before continuing on ordinate, I'm actually going to show you um, uh, how to add center line um, and center mark for these all, all these arcs and circles. So I'm going to click on center mark under annotate and click on the circle. I'm going to repeat this for the rest of these uh, uh, assumably uh, holes. I'm assuming they're uh, through all so you can keep clicking these holes and add your center marks and at the end you can press on escape go back to home tab grab your ordinate and uh, let's click there click there if you press enter in AutoCAD you repeat the previous command so I pressed enter or space bar on your keyboard right there press enter click there click there enter click there so we're going to continue doing this until uh, all features uh, are defined uh, the distance from uh, a logical point on the feature to your origin point on the left side of your part so let's keep going in the previous video we talked about dimension styles and how we can use that to change the decimal points on your dimensions as well as uh, add some sort of uh, scale to increase or you know decrease um, the height um, of your text on the dimensions so that's from um, you know the horizontal uh, type of distance from your origin I clicked on letter uh, sorry I'm gonna click on ordinate and pick that edge and that's your zero along y direction press enter press enter to repeat Press enter zero two and uh, one thing we could do uh, we could grab say this and click here okay so that's uh, so it'll draw um, a dimensional line from the center of the circle all the way here so that's assuming uh, that kind of conveys to the machinist whoever reads this drawing uh, that all these features are along the same uh, line okay so one inch is a distance from the center of all these features to uh, this datum or this edge of the part as i mentioned datums are uh, accurate surfaces or uh, features on a part so next uh, we're gonna add uh, some additional annotation let's go to annotate actually we can grab diameter of 
from here. Okay. So there are two of these holes, one here and one there. So what you can do, uh, add the diameter, you double click on it, and uh, the cursor is in the beginning, so I'm gonna click on the arrow on the keyboard and move it to the very right, and then you can press enter and type um, two places. Okay, click outside and press enter. Let's repeat this on the smaller holes. Double click, move the cursor to the right side, press enter, and let's say eight places, right? And press enter. Diameter again. Uh, there these two large holes. Double click, move the cursor to the right. They're also in two places. Um, and this one click actually press enter grab your DM there double click move the cursor to the right press enter time two places press enter you can click on a dimension and uh, move it to any location that you have extra spaces um, if the object stamps are not helping, you can turn them off by pressing F3. We're going to add another dim uh, a reference dimension, actually, um, from there to here. Uh, you can place it, let's say, there, and yeah, escape. You can double-click on it, and yeah, reference dimensions are normally placed inside the brackets. So with arrow keys, you can actually uh, move the cursor to the left and right and place those or you could simply type uh, ref um, for the reference dimension so um, it seems uh, you have everything except this okay so let's go ahead and add that five Let's move this further this way. All right, that kind of sums up the ordinate dimension. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a layer for hatch, and I'll show you how to add some sort of hatch to the top surface, uh, just like what we had here. Okay. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and create a layer, click on new and type hatch. Okay, let's change the color to some sort of uh, light gray and make sure your line weight is default. That's gonna create a thin line for hatch. Let's go ahead and change the layer to hatch and also turn off uh, the dim layer by clicking on the light bulb. Okay. So for hatch, you need uh, a closed area. So you can hatch inside this or inside this. If you have an open area, that's AutoCAD is not going to like it and uh, it's going to take a lot of time. It might freeze on you depending on your computer. So um, hatch is uh, right here, or you can simply type hatch uh, the command bar. Uh, I've used AutoCAD for many years and we started with command bar, so I'm very comfortable with that. So that's hatch. Um, you can go to settings um, before. Uh, in the settings, you're going to have a lot more options. Uh, and that's the way uh, traditionally AutoCAD uh, was set up. So uh, in setting T is uh, highlighted, so I'm going to press T to run setting and uh, you're going to see um, a user interface um, pop up. So um, in the patterns, you can go ahead and select any pattern you want. Um, also, you can 
click on swatch and you will see graphics for different kind in NC standard uh, for instance um, you know the standard you want to add you can pick from here um, if, if you want to specify it's made out of steel you have um, you know a hatch pattern here uh, for this one that's just for the heck of it uh, pick you know this um, pattern and then um, you can change the layer the color from here I always keep it by layer um, that's a better practice and click on OK so right now we selected this pattern and when you single click inside the closed area you're gonna see that uh, what the cat picks it if you select inside another closed area altogether will pick that I didn't click there I just clicked inside this area I'm gonna press enter or you can click on close hedge pattern before doing that you can change the scale in some cases you need to change the angle for the hatch uh, for instance 30 degree or 45 degree uh, you have some options here as well I'm gonna click on close and that's the hatch so you can go ahead and change your layer to zero turn on your dimension uh, layer and that's pretty much it uh, so in this video we talked about ordinate dimension uh, also uh, we talked uh, about a few other um, commands um, so we added hatch uh, we modified dimension text we added diameter dimension and so forth. Uh, I hope this was useful for you to support this channel. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.